So the big plan for today, or the little plan for today, is to convert this old, where is it, there, uh, nightstand into a sink stand. Because it's quite a small bathroom, so it's, uh, you know, a lot of people have converted larger bits of furniture into washstands. But my plan is this. It's almost perfect. This was, um, in fact, in the house when we arrived. So it's, uh, it's old, it's quite simple, but I think it'll be quite nice. So what we have to do is block off the drawer, cut the holes in the back for the pipes. So we'll do some, some stripping out there, oops, there. And then cut a hole in the top, fit the sink to it, uh, silicone around the outside, clean it up a bit, and then screw it to the wall. So that's uh, that's the plan. Some upcycling. Uh, we're going to uh, we're going to get going then. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is mark around the top so that the sink will then sit flush. So there is um, obviously the drain out of the bottom, but there is also this here, which is all deeper than the outer lip. Um, so, you can hit on, can it line up at the back? Like this. Can it line up left, right? Okay, that looks pretty good. Mark it, and uh, that's really our first cut. Not cut off too much to start with because uh, we can always cut more, but it's quite hard to put wood back once you take the wood out. Um, take the drawer out as well because we will only be using the front of the drawer, which we'll then cut off as well in the, in the fitted position. And now it's going to be useful to have that out of the way. Now we just need to cut a, we'll probably have to cut just two little grooves here. I'd like to keep this cross piece as much as possible. We'll have to cut grooves up in it as well for water, but we'll see how we get on there. So, first things first, let's make our first cut. I'm going to drill and then cut. So, with the back panel now removed, we can just uh, get in, chop out the bottom, um, and then everything should line up against the walls. So I'm going to mark it, and same again, just cut around the base. So now for the drawer. Um, we could just take the front off and drill it in from the top. But I think in fact what we'll do is we'll keep the three sides and take the back and the bottom off. And there we go. Uh, 
doesn't need putty because it's, um, it's got this mousse ring which will compress. So I'll just cross a bit, pop it in, grab a seal at the bottom, and then screw the whole thing together until it's tight. We don't need to use any tools for this normally. If we're straight, it'll work. Let's put the tap in. So pretty standard mixer tap. So presented up against the wall, it now looks like that. I'm going to attach the hot and cold water, um, which are the flexi pipes with the taps that you've seen, uh, the drain, which is here, um, will probably need to be cut as well and go into the rubber band. But you won't be able to see too much of that because I should be on my knees and it's quite tight. And there it is. So we still need to fix it to the wall, but other than that, I'm really quite happy with that. I think it looks great. It's, uh, it's a good bit of using something that was there. So use sink, use cupboard. It's a new tap, but hey. Um, total cost, 40 euros, including the tap and the drain. I think we were, we were pretty good there. So I hope you liked it. If you do, subscribe. There's Lots more going on here. I'm gonna finish up building the shower, get a toilet tomorrow, finish plastering, building walls. So big projects. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.